outside here with our counter. We're going to show you how to start this thing up. Before you step on a job site or start or use any equipment, you need to have your, make sure you have your steel toe boots, safety vest, gloves, safety glasses, ear protection, and hard hat. My name is Jorge, I'm an ERS and I'm going to show you how to install a blade. There's an orbital ring right here which you could take off to fit a universal saw and there's also an arrow right here which is going to show you which way the blade is going to spin. Okay. We're going to start off by getting our tool, tilting this on the side. We're gonna go ahead and do some this up. Keep in mind, there's also gonna be an orbital ring inside which you can flip around to fit a universal blade. Put the disc. Slide it down. Put the cap. Go ahead and tighten it with our hands first. to go. Once the blade's installed, I'm going to show you guys a couple key factors on the cutoff saw. Husqvarna specifically, you actually can take the top off to access your filter, so be your air filter. There's also your spark plug there, two disposable things that are most likely needed to be replaced within the first year. Another helpful tip is there is a stash spot right here where we can put a geotab of some sort so we can track our cutoff saws down the road eventually and then just a couple ins and outs you do have your water port where you can connect to have some dust control you obviously have your choke your prime and then the easiest thing here is the new smart tensioner where you can actually tension it on site with just a standard wrench that comes with the saw that's all we got thank you all right and now we're going to go over how to start the cutoff saw real quick first thing you want to do is make sure that you turn it on then you're going to want to choke it and then you'll prime the gas ball here Good afternoon. My name is Daryl. I'm from PC 150. I've been with Sunbelt for 28 plus years. I'm going to show how to strap down a cutoff saw. It only weighs 28 pounds, but nothing's too light to be strapped down. Just put it in the back of the truck where you can get a strap. You want to put your strap across something that's not plastic so that when you crank down, you won't crack it. So we're going to go right in between the plastic here. Clip. Crank down. Here with one of our small tool specialists, Mike Sprague. And we just want to give a thanks to uh, everybody watching for joining our Small Tools Talk. Thank you. Thank you.